once we have the x adding pattern, this is basically the x adding patterns. So we can extract a lot of information from this pattern. For example, we can understand, we can extract that what is the crystal structure of a material. For example, it is a simple cubic, it is a body center cubic, it is a face centered cubic or hexagonals. So from this pattern, we can extract these kind of information. We can also extract that whether the material is made from big, big crystallites or from small, small crystallites. So how we extract all these information, we only extract this from the peak shapes because once we have these peak shapes, we can extract all these information. And three parameters are very, very important. The first one is basically peak positions. From this peak position, we understand about the crystal structure, whether the uh, material is uh, simple cubic, body center cubic. The second important is the peak intensity. Intensity is not basically the height. Intensity simply means that the, 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 the area under the cuff, right? The third important parameter is basically the peak width. This is the peak width here. But today I'm just talking about the peak positions. Let's discuss the importance of peak positions. We know basically peak position means the diffraction angle. Look here, this is the x adding pattern, and the peak position means the vertical line. This is basically one peak. Just consider this peak, consider this peak, now consider this peak. Just draw a vertical line. And the, and the x axis basically this is basically the two theta video and this is the peak positions. This is I just magnified this peak here and you can see here. Now how to magnify this? Let me show you in origin here. This is the graph here and just when you open the x and the pattern in origin, you just take this uh, scale here and just take any here. Just I want to uh, zoom this here. You see? And now just take this tool here, data reader and click it exactly on the top of this peak here and it will give me 30 here here you see the 2 theta view is basically 30 here this is how easily we uh, uh, know about the peak positions so in this case the basically the 2 theta is basically uh, 38 and the theta is basically 19 degree so we, we know basically we know that the peak position is basically the function is basically the function of a crystal structure this peak position is directly related to the crystal structure. You see here, and by default, it is basically uh, uh, the peak position is a function of universal parameters, and it is also a function of uh, the interplanar spacing between the planes. Here, this is a fundamental Bragg's equations. We know this is the X-ray wavelength, which is uh, known here, one point five five angstrom, and this theta we know from here. When you plug in the video, so we can easily calculate the uh, interplanar space from this graph dimensions. Now, you will be amazed at how we can uh, get the crystal structure uh, from this here. So the peak position basically determines the crystal structure because difference in crystal structure affects the peak position. They are basically directly proportional. The two theta is basically uh, proportion to the crystal the structure if you have different crystal structure for example if you have simple cubics you will have one type of two theta diffraction if you have a uh, uh, fcc a hexagonal or bcc you will have different uh, peak positions and we know let's suppose the simple cubic for this particular reflections here so we know this is the fundamental equations and this is the mirror indices here so when we know the uh, the, 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 the Mirror indices, which is 8KL, so we can easily calculate this latest parameters. And we know we know from simple cubic that these all are equal here. So from here we know that basically uh, the, 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 the the universal parameters, and then we can uh, deduce the crystal uh, structure. So knowing Miller indices, HKL for n reflections, we can easily calculate the angle. And then we can find the uh, latest parameter A, B, and C for simple cubic, body center cubic, and FCC. 
and these are basically cluster structure because we know this is basically the simple cube here so the atoms are only located at corners and body center cubic means the, the addition atom is here face center means the addition atoms are here located so it means that all these information basically report cluster structures once we know the mirror images we calculate the B then we calculate the ABC and then we know that what is the ABC looks like it is body center cubic body center cubic or face center cubics this is for example to know the lattice type lattice type means this is basically the lattice lattice type a simple cubic arrangement atom arrangement or lattice type we only need peak position once we have the peak position that is basically the two theta value this is 38 so we can easily calculate the beta 19 and we can easily calculate the sine theta and from Bragg's law we can easily And once we have the D, so we can easily calculate the uh, lattice parameters. This is how the peak positions give us information about the crystal structure.